eruptions in Iceland are still happening. Homes consumed by the creeping lava. The eruption is the most serious threat posed by a volcano in Iceland in half a century. And they're threatening a legit wonder of the world. Dormant fissures are opening up and there's lava fountains spewing from the depths of the earth. But first, let me give you a little background on why this is important. I was in Iceland in 2023 and I found it super unusual that there were volcanologists out measuring activity in the area. Yes, the volcanoes in the area have been active from 2020 to 2022. But when I was doing my research before the trip, they were saying the area had become dormant and no activity was suspected. Oh, but my science bones were tingling and I knew there was a reason the volcanologists had a base set up and were actively taking measurements and exploring the volcano. Why else would they do that? Not just for funsies. Also, my family has this thing where when we leave a place, something uh, like something happens, hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. So this might be on my family. Now, there have been multiple eruptions along the small peninsula over thousands of years. And so relatively new lava fields can be found running into older lava fields. But the newest lava fields in Iceland are a short distance from Grandavik in the south coast of the Reykjanes Peninsula. That is definitely not it. Reykjanes. The Reykjanes Peninsula. The two eruptions, the first in 2021 and the second small eruption in 2022, have resulted in the... Fagra... Fagradalsjash at Lava Field. And this is where the current eruption is happening. And this eruption is different from any other in the area. Icelandic is challenging. The biggest difference between the eruptions in the 2021 and 2022 eruption sites is that there are no mountains fencing this one off. This new site sits at around 200 meters above sea level and it slopes leading to the north and the south. The nearest road is only seven to nine kilometers away. And if this eruption continues to go on, it's gonna reach the roads. And unfortunately, towns must be evacuated and roads completely shut down. Here's the thing, volcanoes don't just spontaneously erupt. They give plenty of warning signs. And the warning signs of volcanoes actually come as earthquakes. And those earthquakes become more intense as the pressure builds. Unfortunately, the town of Grandavik on the Reykjanes Peninsula, Reykjanes. Reykjanes Peninsula has experienced endless earthquakes and those 4,000 people that lived there were evacuated. And just as they had hoped to return, a four kilometer long fissure opened up in a short but very powerful eruption. The way this volcano erupted was unusual. In the Icelandic meteorological, meteorological, I should be able to say that word better, meteorological office said that the fissure broke open. And a fissure is really interesting because it creates lava fountains. There isn't just one eruption point, like, you know, St. Helens, for example. Instead, it's like a giant crack opened up in the ground and it expels vast quantities of lava. And when that pool of lava cools and solidifies, the surface remains mostly flat. Now, what I think set off the these volcanologists is the fact that large earthquakes in the area began happening. And volcanologists are saying this happened because of new dikes being created underground. And these dikes are tubular or sheet-like bodies of magma that cut through and across rock and they form when magma rises into an existing fracture or creates a new crack by forcing its way through existing rock and then solidifies. Now, despite everything I've said, this volcanic activity in Iceland isn't all bad. During the 20th century, Iceland actually found a way to take the disadvantage advantage of volcanoes and turn them into an advantage. Most of the homes are actually heated with geothermal energy, which harnesses heat from the earth. Fun fact, the word geothermal actually comes from the Greek word geo meaning earth and thermi meaning heat. So geothermal energy is a renewal resource because the heat is constantly being produced inside the earth. It's clean, it's cheap, and it's renewable. In fact, they've actually taken this fear of volcanoes and turned it into a source of wonder. The lava fields are seen as a source of beauty instead of people cursing them for being infertile and harmful to livestock. But this volcanic era in Iceland has no clear end in sight. The next eruption could literally come tomorrow, next year, in the middle of the town, in the Blue Lagoon, which is one of the wonders of the world, it's actually been actively shut down because of lava and volcanic risk. And what I find absolutely bonkers is that when I was there, the lava field was still steaming. I mean, the lava was still hardening underneath the surface. Magma can reach temperatures of around 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will literally take anywhere from two to 10 years to cool completely. And these lava fields certainly aren't ready to cool down 
anytime soon. I also found it incredibly wild and kind of scientifically funny to be standing in a location where I could literally look at the crust of this earth and say, hmm, I'm older than this new crust. When are you ever older than rocks? Never. Unless you're in a lava field.